It is Thursday, April 2nd, 2009. I thought I would do today's one outside in my pajamas. I've got my dad's shirt from when he coached my soccer team. Coach. Brookline Youth Soccer. Homer Simpson Santa Claus pants in honor of talking about religion, I guess. That's funny. Um, and I have these socks that my friend gave me with little ducks on them to show that femme does not equal girl, it just equals what it is. Today's topic, we're talking about religion. I was brought up Jewish. Um, I'm from a very Jewish town outside of Boston. Um, I had neighbors who were really religious who would wear, you know, the traditional very um, religious clothing with the hats and the payas and um, black coats and everything. Um, and my family wasn't that religious at all. Um, we would go to high holidays. Um, we'd go to the big ones and basically just, I mean, I come from a Jewish family, both sides. Um, one side from Russia and one side from Poland. Um, so it's just something that we do as Berliners. Um, but I never really deeply thought about it. Um, I just really like it for its tradition's sake. It's nice. I like that we celebrate Sukkot. Sukkot's awesome. It's all about uh, being thankful for the beauty that is the earth and nature and food that comes from the earth. You get to like build a fort outside a sukkah and hang out in it and decorate it. And I really like singing and there's lots of songs and the prayers, there's lots of singing. Um, I like klezmer music. I like the hora. I like Jewish weddings. It's fun. Um, I don't think that there's a lot of hating going on in Judaism, as far as I know, in the parts that I've learned. Um, it's okay to be gay. I like kugel. I like Yiddish. It's just, Jewish stuff is cool. Um, and, but I, you know, I don't really practice so much anymore. Since I went to college, I didn't really go to services on my own, and um, I didn't have a bat mitzvah. That was really scary to stand up in front of a lot of people. Uh, I did all of the practicing. Um, I learned all this stuff, but then I didn't do it. Uh, and I feel fine about that. So, you know, these days I don't really feel particularly inclined to go to services or anything. I have really gotten into Buddhist philosophy lately. Um, I'm trying to like find a really calm space and relax and I really like a lot of the philosophies of mindfulness, meditation, yoga, trying to come to a peaceful place, just being present, you know. I'm trying to combine swimming at the pool with being mindful um, and just going at my own pace and feeling the water and being present and not worrying about other things. And then especially when I get into the hot tub afterwards, it's really nice to just sit there with my eyes closed and concentrate on my breathing and feel the water against my body. And I, I really feel like there's some kind of um, practice there. And I wonder if it's been done already, but it's what I'm trying to go for is um, meditation through swimming. I watched this documentary called 10 Questions for the Dalai Lama, and it was really nice. There's tons of stuff about the Dalai Lama, like this book, um, The Dalai Lama, Ethics for the New Millennium. This guy's the man. Uh, I just really like his outlook on life and people and the world. The Dalai Lama's instructions for life, um, and I think there's 10. And I just want to read you a couple of them. Follow the three R's, respect for self, respect for others, responsibility for, for all of your actions. When you realize you made a mistake, take immediate steps to correct it. Spend time alone every day. Open your arms to change, but don't let go of your values. Silence is sometimes the best answer.
live a good, honorable life, then when you get older and think back, you'll be able to enjoy it, enjoy it a second time. Share your knowledge. It is a way to achieve immortality. Be gentle with the earth. Once a year, go someplace you've never been before. The best relationship is one in which your love for each other exceeds your need for each other. Approach love and cooking with reckless abandon. I'm also reading this book, Full Catastrophe Living. Using the wisdom of your body and mind to face stress, pain, and illness. It's all about combining Eastern and Western techniques and coming to a mindful, peaceful, less stressed out state of being, which sounds great. Our world is so like, go, 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 go. And I think that it's really important to take time to truly be in your skin, because so often we're, we're not really there. Jackson the Rabbit, I don't know if you guys know his channel, but he made a great video about um, being present. And I'll put a link on the side. Or maybe it's that side. Wait, let me think. If I picture myself on the screen, it's that side, right? I really think it's over there. I just want to talk about three really quick things super fast. Thing number one, SF State. Dear Sam Berliner, the San Francisco State Cinema Department enthusiastically recommends you for admission to the MFA program. Hooray! I got into film school. It's really exciting. Um, so I'm gonna go to SF State this fall um, to get my Master's of Fine Arts in Cinema. Very exciting. Thing number two before I get going, um, I decided last week I'm gonna try going by male pronouns. Um, I know one thing for sure. I don't feel like a girl. That much I'm pretty sure about. Female pronouns are just feeling wrong. Um, and male pronouns are the other option. I don't, the gender neutral pronouns are really tricky um, to ask people. I think that's asking a lot uh, right now for our society. So I feel like male pronouns is the way to go. So trying it out um, and we'll see how it goes. In certain contexts, I'm just asking friends right now. I'm not talking to work or anything, but we'll see. Thing number three, I went out and bought some medicine spoons to make some STPs. And JT recommended this kind with the like rubbery end because it's easier. I gotta say, dudes, this is really tough. Um, I just edited this one man show and this one part. See now with this also too is you do not have to know where you piss out of. And unless you were a feminist that was squatting over a mirror pissing on that fucking mirror in the 70s, you do not know where your fucking piss hole is, okay? You gotta get it up in there over the area. Over your area. I gotta say he's kinda right. I missed and peed on my pants and was all pissed off. Haha. <laughs> That's actually really funny. Wow, I'm such a nerd. Um anyway, so STPs, do you guys have any advice? Like I think I need to go look online at like a diagram of the female anatomy and find out where this thing is. Cause maybe it's not where I thought it was. And after twenty six years you'd think I'd know. I don't know. Oh, I forgot to say, this is my morning hair, which is the, really the reason why I wanted to do this video in my pajamas, just to show you the excitement that is first waking up with this hair. Oh, and one other thing is I got a new binder from a friend of mine, and it only goes down to, um, I don't know, it, it stops above my stomach. And that was the whole reason that I didn't like my other binder because it went down all the way past my stomach. And I like the way that it shapes my hips and my stomach to look more masculine, but um, it hurts. So this one's actually been really great. So I guess that's all I've got to say and I'll talk to you later. All right, bye.